First is nightmare and REM behavior disorder. Nightmares are bad dreams and they can be truly terrifying. Children have more nightmares because they spend more time in REM sleep than adults. As they age, they have fewer nightmares because they have less opportunity to have them. But some people continue to have nightmares when they are adults. My friend once told me about this nightmare that he had when he was all alone at night. He mentioned someone was in his apartment and was following him, probably an evil spirit, and he had to hide behind the door of his bathroom. He told me how it felt as if it was all real and was an utterly horrifying experience. In REM sleep, the voluntary muscles are paralyzed, a condition called sleep paralysis that prevents you from jumping around in your sleep. When the brain mechanisms that inhibit the muscles fail, it allows the sleeping person to thrash around and act out nightmares. This disorder is called the REM behavior disorder and is fairly serious. It usually happens in men over the age of 60 and can also occur in young men and women. Second is night terrors. A night terror is a state of panic experienced while sound asleep. People may sit up, scream, run around the room and swing at an unseen attacker. They also mention being unable to breathe while they are in this state. Usually it happens in deep sleep in case of shallow breathing so it makes sense why they have breathing issues. A distinction between nightmare and night terror is that nightmares are vividly remembered by people people and they can instantly talk about it. People who experience night terrors oftentimes don't remember the dream after an episode. Another important distinction is that nightmares occur during REM sleep while NREM sleep is the domain of night terrors. And because of sleep paralysis, people don't move around much in nightmares as they do in night terrors. Sleepwalking A person who is sleepwalking may do nothing more than just setting up, although other episodes may include walking around the house, looking inside the refrigerator, or even eating, and getting into the car. A case in 1987 Toronto to Canada, a 23-year-old named Kenneth Parks got up early in the morning, drove to his wife's parents and stabbed her mother-in-law to death while attacking his father-in-law. In the car, he woke up and saw blood on his hands. That's when he went to the police and told them he might have killed someone, completely unaware of what happened. Parks had no motive and had been suffering from insomnia and had episodes of sleepwalking as well. It was concluded that he was truly unaware of his actions and was verdict not guilty. Most people with this disorder grow out of their sleepwalking by the time they're adolescent. The only real precaution that the families of people who sleepwalk should take is to clear their floors of any obstacles and to put not easy to reach locks on the doors. And although it is not dangerous to wake sleepwalkers, they may strike out before awakening. Insomnia Some people think that insomnia is the inability to sleep. However, in reality, it's the inability to get to sleep, stay asleep, or get a good quality sleep. There are many causes of insomnia which may be related to thoughts and feelings that are psychological or physiological relating to the body. Some psychological causes are worrying, trying too hard to sleep, or having anxiety. Physiological causes can be too much caffeine, indigestion, and aches and pain. Sleep apnea. This condition is probably the most annoying condition for people other than who are suffering. It's snoring. Snoring is fairly common and it occurs when the breathing passages are blocked in the nose and throat. Most people snore when they have cold or some other problem, but people with sleep apnea snore regularly. It sounds like a hurt lion in its cave. People with sleep apnea will stop snoring for 10 seconds or more when they're not breathing and with a sudden forceful gap as the person struggles to fill air into their lungs. Many people do not wake up when this is happening and most people suffering from apnea don't get restful nights of sleep. Apnea is a serious sleep problem. According to the National Institutes of Health, 5-25% to of adults in the US have apnea, but many people don't know they have it. Apnea can cause heart problems and poor sleep quality. If someone thinks they have apnea, they should see a doctor and find out for sure and to discuss treatment options. There are some different treatments for apnea like some people can use a nasal device to keep their airways open. Losing weight can help, especially being overweight is a common cause of sleep apnea. Using a nasal split to reduce swelling in the nasal tissues can be effective. Some people need to use a machine called continuous positive airway pressure which delivers a steady stream of air to keep the airways open during sleep. Narcolepsy, also called sleep seizures and affect one in every 2000 people. In narcolepsy, a person may slip into REM sleep during any time of the day, especially when encountering strong emotions. Another symptom is excessive daytime sleeping that leads to a person falling asleep at inappropriate times and places. These sleep attacks occur without any warning and it makes it harder for people suffering from it to perform daily activities such as driving a car. It can also cause injuries when the person is standing and the same hypnagogic images that may accompany someone in the N1 sleep may also accompany the person with narcolepsy.